We're Drew Vagari, I'm Priscilla, and that's Chris, and we have finally built our van. We're hitting the road, and we're doing this whole van life thing full time. Last week we got on a ferry and we went to the Isle of Wight with our van. This week it's part two, and we're going to show you what things you can do in three days. Join us on our journey. Who knows where the road might take us. First up, there's the Donkey Sanctuary. Highly recommend it. It's free entry. All the donkeys have little name badges around their necks, or should I say collars, and each donkey can be adopted. They've got quite a clever little system where you have a QR code next to the donkey with a full little story about who they are and what they like, and you can adopt a donkey and help the sanctuary carry on with what it's doing. Next stop, St. Catherine's Lighthouse. Now, this is quite the little venture to get to, nice little coastal path, but once you're there, it's quite beautiful to look at. There's not many lighthouses that you can get really close to and have a good look at them, but this one you can. And the coast is a spectacular view. Next up is the Needles. Now this is the most popular tourist attraction there is on the Isle of Wight. All right guys, it's all downhill from here. There we go. Out. Don't freak out. Basically, you get yourself on a little cable car. There's restaurants, cafes, little pubs around the area. There's a pebble beach that you go down to. You can also walk as well. And of course, we had to have a beer to celebrate the awesome view. In one extreme, you have these huge mountains, and the next is the beach. So it's quite a beautiful place to be in. One of our second to last stop was a Dagus Stone Vineyard. This place is highly recommended on our list. It reminded us a little bit of home and it served great food and Blue Brute Prosecco. Now, the Blue Brute Prosecco is no artificial colors or anything. The secret is they use the skins from the red grapes. They play loud music and they have a beautiful little play area for the children. They also have themselves a cute little shop where you can do wine tasting and they have their own little chili jams and other little things that they make on site. Now of course you have to visit all the beaches and we ended up at Ride Beach on our very last day. We were the only two people on the beach and we had a little bit of fish and chips with the sunset. We did however have these fillers which obviously I had to give a few hot chips to. So three, two, one. I trained them well. <laughs> that was our entertainment for the evening. So if you're ever considering coming to the Isle of Wight, either in your van or just on a holiday, I completely and highly recommend it. We had a wonderful time. And you get the best of both worlds. You have the beach and you have the inlands. Everything is about 30 to 45 minutes from one side of the island to the other. So it's not a very big island and you can do everything in three to four days. So we really enjoyed our time. And until next time, please consider subscribing and we'll see you soon. Mm -hmm.